So welcome back to another PEZ video. Today we have a bit of PEZ history. We are playing in a stadium with a capacity of 1 million people. This is a stadium called the Ultimate Stage. It is the Champions League stage where you see it in like the broadcast packages and stuff before the games, before the matches. And uh, it was in PEZ 18 as part of like a, a special treat for us. And we're going to be taking a look at it once again to see what it was like. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like for me. It always helps the videos. And make sure you subscribe for more FIFA and PEZ videos. Got some information about the ultimate stage. It's not a real stadium. It's not built anywhere in the world. You can't go and visit it. But it is a fictional stadium. It says that the 2015-16 season heralds a new era for the UEFA Champions League with the fantasy 1 million plus Cedar Stadium providing the perfect setting for the introduction of the Champions Becoming Legends theme. So we're in the PEZ 18 menus. We're going to be doing a Champions League match. I think you can use this stadium in kickoff and it could be Master League as well. There's the stadium in the background there. I don't know if you can use it in Master League. It could be the final venue. I'm not 100% sure. I don't have an option file installed in this game anymore. So I'm just going to try and keep the teams licensed here. Obviously, you don't want to use like blue-white. You know, you want to use Barcelona and stuff. But we're just going to basically do a Champions League final. Well, not Champions League final. A Champions League exhibition match. I don't think this is going to be a final. Karius has to go straight away. Mignolet will come in. Um, you can see we've got Salamane, Firmino and stuff, but the, the ratings are not the same as they are these days. You know, some of the players have grown dramatically since then. We've got Messi and Suarez up front for Barcelona as well, so it's going to be a good game. And I think I'll just keep the lineup like that. I'm going to just tinker with the settings a little bit. We'll do the final ball. Injuries are on. Conditions are the same. Player emotions. Penalty kicks are on. Extra time's on. And uh, the subs will stay like that. We're going to play on top player. Anything harder than that. We're not going to have a good experience, I think, because, uh, yeah, the difficulty can get you sometimes. But the stadium is what we're here for, and we need to do the ultimate stage. This is the stadium with 1 million capacity. So it's uh, not something you can visit, of course. You can't go and visit it, but it's around in the fictional world. It looks pretty massive. It looks like there's a lot of seats, and uh, imagine if they actually built this in real life. It would be insane. I don't think you could fill it out, though. Would 1 million people actually turn up to watch a Champions League final if they could? Maybe in a stadium like this, it would. But imagine the parking. Imagine trying to get out. After the match, man, oh, it would be terrible. So there we go. That is the pre-game cutscene for the ultimate stage. It looks beautiful. You've got the stars as the roof. You've got heaps of seats, heaps of fans. Does it look like 1 million people? I don't know. I guess we have to count them individually. But you can see that you're walking up the stairs. Nice little cutscenes here. There's a lot of fans. Yeah, like I said, I guess it sort of looks like 1 million people, but at the same time, it doesn't for me. I don't know. I wonder if Konami actually put in 1 million people or they didn't. I mean, it would be pretty insane to know that the game is like processing 100, no, not 100 million, 1 million people in this stadium right now. So there we go. Beautiful. Look at that, man. That's absolutely insane. It could be 1 million people, man. That's absolutely insane. Imagine a stadium built like that. It's crazy, man. I love the views of the stadium as the cutscenes transition. I mean, there's not many fans that brought flags to the game besides the guys at the front. I mean, even if a guy was sitting at the back and he brought a flag, you probably wouldn't even see it. So I guess that's why they don't bring any flags. But it would be absolutely insane to play in a stadium full of 1 million people. Uh, we're just going to try out different camera angles now. You can see, you know, take a look around as we flick the ball around and stuff. That's what the stadium looks like on the field if you were a player. Looks absolutely nuts. But of course, there's different camera angles. You can do blimp, mid-range. There's also long, wide pitch side some of them do um show you more of the crowd than others dynamic wide live broadcast fan view so if you're at the top of the stadium that's what it looks like pretty cool vertical as well you can see some of the crowd player as well if we go to the instant replay i'm going to show you around so as you can see we can't go any higher than that but you can see the roof has those stars the champions league stars there's a lot of fans there going all the way up absolutely nuts imagine the view from all the way at the back at the top row there it would be so far out, but it would look pretty cool. I don't think you would see much, actually. But anyway, let's play this game now, and we'll just see how we go, man. It would be absolutely nuts as a player to be in a 1 million capacity stadium. Like, what's the highest stadium in the world? I don't know, but it's got to be over 100,000. And this is like 10 times bigger than anything we've got in the real world. Imagine the noise. I don't think the crowd is actually insane in this version. I'll try and do some crowd audio. Like, maybe Konami should have, like, made the crowd more insane. But yeah, let me know if you played PES 18 at the time. It's always nice to come back and play these games. I think PES 17 was one of my favorites. PES 18, I sort of had some issues with it. But I remember playing it at the time on the channel and stuff. I think we did a Master League. But yeah, I think I had some issues with it at the time. I think PES 17 was better. But coming back now, it doesn't feel that bad. It feels pretty good, you know. Could even be better than eFootball at the moment. So 
So let's hear the crowd noise. You can see that the crowd is not happy. Imagine half a million Liverpool fans blowing whistles at a referee. Let's see if we can get there nice. Got Salah down the right. Here we go. Mo Salah. He's going to cut it back. He's going to have a hit. Mo Salah. Oh, good save. Let's go. Alexander Arnold. Salah's going to pick it up. He's going to look for a cross. Back post. Mane's there with the header. Good save. Firmino with the tapping. Almost missed. But I'll take it. 1 0 for Liverpool. Imagine half a million Liverpool fans right now making some noise in the ground. I mean, the, the noise levels would be insane. You probably wouldn't even be able to hear yourself think if this was actually true to life. It's a nice pass. Here we go. Salah brings it forward. It's looking for options for Mino. It's looking for Mane, maybe. Going to play it down the left here. Firmino's in the middle. Got to be a goal here. What a goal. Nice. You can hear the crowd going nuts. Half a million Liverpool fans. Does it sound like half a million people? I don't know. Probably not. Probably sounds like there's like 5,000 people at the ground. I mean, take a look at the, the stadium and it's absolutely nuts. So nice to look at. So unique as well. You would think that EA would like steal these ideas and put them into a FIFA game. They've got the UEFA license for so many years. It would be nice to have this stadium in the game. And you could even use it in like career mode as an alternative to the final venue as well. It's got the pace to bring it forward here. Looks for Firmino. Big header and Firmino hits a wide. But that's going to be half time. Nice layoff there. Suarez and Messi doing the one-twos. Nice connection between them both. They whip it in. And uh, Messi gets ahead to that, but it's not very convincing. Plays it across, Sergi Busquets. Messi has a hit, good save. And the rebound falls kindly to us. So let me know if you've been playing eFootball 2022. I know a lot of people are getting happier with the game after the update, which is good. But uh, some people are still saying there's a lot of work that needs to be done still. Let me know if you've uh, played the game. I guess FIFA's getting boring now at this time of year as well. So it's good that we've got something around that is sort of new, I guess, sort of updated. Here's Robertson again. Chips it across. Oh, Salah got a score. Nice cheeky finish by Salah. And it's 3-0 now. Take a look at the finish by Salah. So cheeky. Beautiful. So yeah, this was a really cool stadium to play in. I guess EA could do something in their games with the ultimate stage, you would think. But unfortunately, we haven't got it yet, despite years of them having the license. I would like to see something like this. I would use this stadium in career mode and stuff if there was like an option to use this stadium as the final venue. And uh, yeah, it's a massive stadium. It's supposed to hold 1 million people. And of course, it's not a real stadium. But as you can see there, there's a lot of people there. And uh, yeah, it's just absolutely nuts to have in a video game, I think. Does it sound better than a normal stadium? I don't know. But uh, I guess that's the end of our video today. Let me know what you thought of the ultimate stage. Would you like to see it in a FIFA game? If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like for me. It always helps. And make sure you subscribe for more PES history videos and FIFA videos. I'll see you next time.